the the idea is um, that uh, you need to to the first step to it is to understand in what extent your country is vulnerable for for this sort of operations and uh, because uh, um, although um, although uh, this sort of like a because of technological development and so on because of social media and internet and one can write anything on, on the internet people are quite uh, 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 might be quite successful for, for such operations. But these operations will only work if there is ground for them. You can't, uh, uh, if the people, uh, in, if the people uh, uh, in his or her, uh, if an individual in his or her uh, daily life sees something, like a, it's, it's his or her reality, it's quite difficult to convince this individual of, on the contrary, because he or she is seeing it. So, uh, um, so at this level, these operations, they, 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 they are quite difficult to convince people about, uh, um, about, uh, about different things from, from daily life. But what you can do it is you have a greater agenda and then you start using um, uh, the techniques of influence operations to convince people of things they don't see. You see, for example, uh, uh, you lie patently. You, we, we have in case he, uh, uh, some cases here in Latvia uh, that when we do target audience analysis to, to understand the, the extent of, of Russian influence in our population, one, a Russian narrative, it is that fascism is is uh, increasing here in the Baltics. What what is a lie, and uh, and um, and when we were asking people about this issue, like uh, and fascism, is it uh, uh, increasing or not? And the answer is well, I didn't I didn't have any contact in my life, but the press is saying so. It is a concern. But you see, the point is it's limited because people are not seeing that. So, uh, um, so uh, the first issue here, it is um, how influential people are. In order to understand how, how influential your own population is, in what extent, you need to make the target audience analysis. The target audience analysis will give you a full panorama of not only the extent of, um, not only how, in what extent our population is is influential first, but second also in what, uh, what are the main issues that might be used, what are the social groups, the age groups, and why. And this is, uh, uh, um, this uh, target dance analysis has, has been done, uh, uh, I can't disclose this, this information, but has been done by, by intelligence services in, in, yeah. in countries such as Libya, Ukraine, and so on. And the results are very consistent, and the results were able to, uh, uh, to uh, give a uh, solid ground for neutralizing uh, 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 enemies, uh, infops, psyops, and influence operations as uh, uh, finding ways to 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 make people aware of of this issue. So performing target audience analysis it is uh, uh, fundamental. Uh, it is necessary to do that on on an ongoing basis. I would say uh, uh, every six months or 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 once a year, having like a maybe it should be the case to to have once a year a very deep target audience analysis and then you just focus later on some specific points but you need to have this 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 capability now uh, enhancing the critical thinking government officials and politicians well uh, each <coughs> the point is that it, that each social group has its own Re, let's call it relative reality. And this means, and it is because of, of well, 
uh, um, maybe you're aware there is a theory that um, um, we are many, many persons in one time. You are one person when you're at home, you are, you are another person when you are at your job and so on. And the way you, and the way you behave is and you behave differently because your, envi your institutional environment is, is different in, in each case. And these multiple personas, let's put it in this way, it's you, of course, but you're going to react differently depending on the environment of the environment you are. So, uh, you, the point is, usually, uh, you see, uh, uh, for example, a group of tourists. Uh, 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 there was a study, once, uh, um, there was an article, okay, I forgot the name of the journal, and it was, for example, the behave in groups. I mean, and then you have, for example, one example were the Japanese. That one Japanese alone, it is very, let's say, uh, 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 very polite, very correct. One could say even shy. But, but, but you have a group of 20, they just like a, like a, it's the group. With, the important thing is the group. And they might completely misbehave and so on. So the point is that because of that, people, because of this group behave, people might lose the critical thinking because, because the mechanism it is um, people will feel comfortable for accepting uh, uncritically uh, information and so on if others in the, in the group are doing the same thing first. So this is one side. The other side it is that it is necessary to to a uh, um, it is necessary to to um, to increase critical thinking about our own actions. And this, of course, this it is about the population, but this is very much about government officials and politicians, at least in the West. Because the problem is, if you see how Western politicians and officials very much they are disconnected from the reality of of the population uh, 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 this makes them very much uh, uh, this makes them an easy target for criticism lies and so on because one of the tactics of of uh, of uh, um, of any of these operations it is it is spreading conspiracy theories. And then if you have, for example, uh, um, uh, let me say, uh, the, 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 we have cases in, in, in the European Union that, the, for example, the European Parliament is voting uh, uh, for legislation and they don't have a clue about how it will affect the common man. And, and they are all congratulating themselves by the great legislation they did, but they are not aware of the effects on people, for example. So basically and you're saying that if there is um, no real understanding of the issues on the ground, then there will be issues in terms of actually relating to the public and that will cause some dis mistrust with the leadership. Yes, absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Okay, understand. Absolutely. And... Uh, and, uh, and uh, 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 and there are other uh, uh, there are other um, minor issues. For example, uh, I like to joke when I see a, a big black Mercedes, like a the re, like a the limousine, right? Okay, it is financial market, the mafia, or a politician, <laughs> like a <laughs> <laughs> stereotypes. <laughs> You see, and 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 it is not only me joking about that. And and and, but so, what is the? But the question is, what is the image, like a, a the politician is passing that, like a, he's living in another world, like a, it is. So, which is right? why I suppose I'm you... not talking about politicians uh, using public transport because of security concerns, but but here. Uh, in the Baltics and uh, and uh, and uh, in Scandinavia, for example, politicians walk to work, 
like a but in Brussels, like a you see, uh, yeah, so uh, these gives uh, a very bad. Uh, yeah. uh, so I suppose that is why you had impression. also subsequently suggested that um, it's also important to create the channels of communication and make sure direct that there is increased yes. direct participation of public, of society in formulating public policy. That would be your, yes, your summa the summary and where yes. you're leading towards. Yes. yes. All right. Yes. Thank you very but much. But there is another, there is another issue that must be, be stressed, I think. It is the, the use of PR. Like, a, like a, because, let's put Let's put it in this way, because of this disconnection, uh, uh, many times uh, government officials and the politicians here, they, they will use these public relations. So they are in reality, they are, it is, it is also uh, an information operation. And many times this, uh, uh, it's not really about telling the truth. For example, uh, uh, a mistake. Someone made a mistake. Well, mistakes happen, right? So, for me, the the best way to do it is to go public and say, "It was a mistake. I am sorry. We are working to 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 solve the problem, and uh, and the mistake happened because of this and that, 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 and so on." Mm. And then you tell the you tell people the truth. It happened. Sorry, but many guys, many. Guys here in Western, uh, in Europe, what they do, they use, in the, in the United States too, they will use PR and say, no, 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 there is no mistake. You are wrong. It is like this. And try to impose some different interpretation about what happened. But people see what happens. You can't lie to people at that level, as I said before. So you're, you can't. So yeah, you would. Um, you can't then... use PR to create an alternative reality this way, and mm. people get resentful, and and the result it is that the confidence in institutions, in 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 politicians, and so on, just plump because people they are lying all the time, and and this is extremely extremely. Uh, I think it is extremely naive to 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 do. Thank you very much for your explanation. Um, I, I trust that is um, the the summary. Basically, is that it's important to actually maintain that relation um, and uh, um, build that trust with the leadership, um, so as to avoid um, um, actually the reliance on the false information that's going around. Would that be a correct summary? Well, not. Not only false information, but one could say doctoring reality. All right. So, for one actions to be in better light, let's put it this way. All right. Thank and, you very uh, much. I, the... I don't have any further questions. Um, I'll pass it back to the chairman. Uh, Minister Shamugam, you have a few questions for the witness. Good morning, uh, Dr. Bazins. Good morning, sir. These uh, black, big black Mercedes Benzers that you referred to, these are the stretch limousines? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't listen to you, sir. These big black repeat, Mercedes please? Benzers that you refer to, you are talking about big black Mercedes Benzers that people drive in. Are these yeah, the big stretch? black Mercedes Benz. Myself, I love them, oh, <laughs> by right. the way. Great cars. These are the stretch cars that you are referring to? Yes. Well, maybe we should consider getting one or two. Uh, <laughs> I had a question for you. On uh, You talked about the European Union, the European Parliament. They are divorced from the ground, you know, not connected to the ground, and they pass laws. Are you talking about the general laws that come out from the European Union on a variety of topics? Sorry, uh, uh, are you asking for specific examples? No, no, no. I'm trying to understand uh, what you were meaning when you referred to laws that the European Union passes. Um, uh, you're no, talking this about was the general... only one example because, sorry, the same, the same idea applies to local parliaments. It's not only the, the, the European Parliament. Yes, you're the talking European in Parliament general about is the maybe the most radical they... example. You're talking in general about the laws that they pass. 
in general, yes, about the laws they passed. Let me give you, let me give you a simple example from Latvia, if I may. The parliament passed a law about, uh, um, about the volume bars and nightclubs are allowed to, 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 to have. This is the and, Latvian uh, parliament and, uh, or the European parliament? Well, it is based on a directive of the European parliament and then we took the law here in Latvia. And the fact is that by law, following the law, I can't call the police and complain. It's too loud. I can't sleep. Well, I can't do that, but the police is going to, uh, to answer me. Well, uh, we need, we need to, 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 to check it. And... Hello? Hello, we can hear yes, you. Hello. Please carry on. Uh, 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 okay, so, and then the result of the law is that in technical terms, the law is perfect because I might be complaining just because uh, I don't like the, the, the place. So someone has to, to let's say, scientifically to, to, to measure the noise at my flat, if it is really of concern or not. Well, the law is perfect. It's, it is a good law. When you go to the, 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 the enforcement level, the operational level, nobody has the instrument how to measure it. There is no budget. Like they, they forgot, not the parliament, but the, the, the civil servants, they forgot to, to allocate budget for buying it or for outsourcing it. And the result is that if I call the police, the police is going to tell me, sorry, we can do anything. So it is like, it is a sort of law that everybody is angry about. But the law is perfect in technical terms. Thank and you. Then I asked some members of the parliament, who are my personal yes. friends, why did you pass the law? And they say, well, but the law is good, isn't it? It's perfect. <laughs> yes, it is. But go to the ground to see what the guys are, what are the real effects. Thank you. It's a lesson for this all This is only us. one example. Right. Thank you very this much, uh, Dr. Buzzards. Yes. My pleasure, sir. Thank you. Yeah.